for our young guest this morning. Lauren Ellis is her name. Well, the truth of the matter is she's one of the most talented and articulate photographers and poetesses that I've had occasion ever to meet. She is famous for a work that is absolutely unusual of a very special person. Lauren Ellis. My work is complicated technically and most people that see my work tend to think that that they're paintings or lithographs or drawings. And then the poetry seems to be a need of yours mm -hmm. to explain it or to explain yourself. Is that what it's about? Yes, it's explaining and expressing it. Sometimes I write a poem to inspire me to do a piece and other times I'll do a piece and then write a poem to explain the piece and sometimes I'll just write it. It's Tell me about the poem. Tell me, we're going to do something. It's strange. I've never done this. And you don't mind if I if I just do it? No. Hmm? What am I doing? I don't know. Well, you tell me. <laughs> you, well, you brought the poetry. Why am I doing this? Why? Yeah. It's to give an insight into what I'm trying to express in, in art. And when I lecture and give lectures about my work, I don't like to just go into explaining a piece of art because I feel that everyone has their own interpretation of the art. So when you read a poem and you, and you look at a piece of art, somehow you'll, you'll still interpret what you'd like to. And I really like to leave that open said in our introduction to her, uh, a reputation for doing something that no one else, I don't believe anyone else is doing. No. It's unique. Yes. What is composition? Well, that's a hard question to answer in a few words, but basically it's the combination of design, line, form, shadow, color, if there's color, to all work together in a harmony, and that's what composition is. This is called feathers. I like this. Soft, delicate, gentle, fragile, sensuous able to float gracefully in the wind, carefree, simple, touchable, related organically to the earth, from an animal, warm-blooded, part of a whole to warm, non-existent, alone, uncountable, and indistinct in appearance, yet taken from its original context, is beautiful in itself, many soft fibers streaming from its backbone, constituting a whole in itself. <laughs> I like that. Thank you. That's so pretty. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. That's very nice. Thank you. You know what he's saying? Well, we have a lot to do in, in organizing our own thoughts and in, in, in enjoying our own selves. But these are a number of images on one piece of photographic paper. Lauren goes into a dark room by herself. I have a, a basic instinct about design as far as when I place the images. I, I lay it out kind of generally, but it's basically based on an instinctive feeling for design and composition. It's called Time Passages. To me, what it was about was about time passing and development of people and women and men. It goes back in time to like an x-ray and these are images from the Renaissance to modern day images of three young women. So it's like their time passes from, from youth to, to maturity to passing and then it's the flow of time that grows and, and nature comes through and, and blends through one's Life. If, if your set is color, you can see that there, there is color here. I don't paint the images. I use it to create an emotion. Physical time, from the yeah. beginning to the end, from conception to finished product, how long? It's about 25 hours. 25 hours. When an average photograph takes about 10 seconds. Yeah. These are one of a kind, and I usually do maybe two or three variations of the particular piece, but they're non-reproducible. I coin it photographic painting. I had a one person show at Brooks Institute in Santa Barbara, California, and they were amazed at the technique I use. It's called Escape to the Sea, and I blend them more. This is a very airy piece. It's a montage piece. It's all one piece of paper, different from a collage. A collage is when you paste things. This is all blended into one piece of paper, which makes it very difficult technically. For if one image comes out too dark or not enough, the whole piece is ruined. Black and white photography particularly, I think, is the most interesting, yes, don't you? Isn't I do. It, it leaves one? something to the imagination. Lauren Ellis is her name. She's a marvelous artist, and she's one of us. Something we've learned today. Thank you, dear.